Hey guys, Ravi here and welcome back in my YouTube channel JavaScript Centric. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can set up the React Native on your new MacBook M1 laptop. So in this series uh, one by one in upcoming videos, uh, I will share the full development process of the React Native applications. Uh, so please uh, make sure you have subscribed this channel and uh, update it with uh, our latest videos so before starting this video you have to install some of the software okay so this is the article that i have published on the medium you can visit this uh, article i have put the link in the description also and uh, uh, in this article i have mentioned the required software uh, before running the react native application on the mac system so uh, first you have to install the rosita 2 on your mac system so it's a simple process you have to write uh, this command in your terminal and then enter it will install the rosita then you have to open the you have to make a rosita terminal uh, so this is the basic steps so just uh, open this application here in the system and then right click on the terminal here you can click on the duplicate it will open a new copy of the terminal and just uh, open the get info and here after setting the uh, after installing the rosita and uh, you have to click on this open using rosita and uh, you can rename this one okay so So I already created a copy of uh, this uh, terminal and put the name as a uh, iTerminal Rosetta. So every time whenever I need uh, to install any app which is based on Intel, I use this terminal iTerminal Rosetta as you can see this one. So here and uh, the next step is uh, to install the Homebrew so this is the command that you can follow to install the homebrew on your system and uh, if you have already installed the homebrew then you can just uh, verify this uh, command and you will see the path where the brew is installed so this is the way you can verify homebrew on your mac then the third step is to install the xcode on your mac system so you can directly go to the app store and you can see there is an update or you can search here also xcode so it will open in the developer section and uh, you can see here this is uh, i already installed on my system it's around 11.7 gb and uh, so the latest version i have installed now and uh, so you have to install this xcode also and um, make sure your version is 10 or newer version of xcode after installing of xcode you have to install the coco ports on your mac so you can just run this command on your uh, rosita terminal and install this coco ports so uh, the next step is to install the node.js because the node.js is very important to install any npm package so here you can install the node version 12 or the newer version so let me share my node version so you can see here uh, i have installed the 15.110 node version okay so you can install the node version from the official website of node or you can use this brew command to install the node once the node is installed on your system you can install the watchman using this uh, brew command after installing all of this software required software we can move to the application react native application so you don't need to run react native cli command or you don't need to install this react native cli package also so you can directly open your terminal here and uh, for me i have this folder so you have to run this command here npx react native init 
and then the project name so once you run this command and pix use the uh, latest version of the react native and uh, use that uh, version to create a react native project so here i am creating a new react native project rn demo project so let's uh, create this project so it will take some time after uh, creating this project uh, we will move to the next step so this command is uh, actually downloading all the required packages and uh, creating the new project uh, for the react native app So as you can see it is installing the required Cocoa Pods uh, uh, dependencies also. Now this uh, uh, package is created and uh, now you can see we have created a RN demo project here. Let's move to this project inside this project. Now we are inside this project and uh, now we have to run the metro server here so for that one also we can uh, run this command npx react native start okay so when we enter it will run the metro server now we have to open a separate terminal so let's open the new terminal here And inside the project folder, we have to run this command to run our project in iOS. So let's run this command react native npx react native run iOS. Now, in this case, it will open the emulator, and now it is building the app once the app is built it will open let's see how much time it will take so the first time it will take some time but after uh, creating this project and running this app uh, when we are updating any uh, code it will reflect directly now we can see that the application is successfully built and uh, app is launching on this simulator now that's it our react native app is running so by this way you can set up your react native on your mac system and uh, and you can run your first uh, react native app so let me show you how we can change uh, in this code So we have opened this project in the VS code and uh, here we can see the app.js file. So let's change some code here and uh, we will see how fast it is reflecting on the simulator. So for an example here we can change this code. now 
I am just saving this one and we will see how fast it is reflecting and now you can see this is so fast and it's uh, reflecting on this app hello world so please like this video and uh, make sure subscribe this channel for upcoming videos on the react native topic and uh, please like this video and uh, share with your uh, friend and the developer circle and thank you for watching this video